Conti back to Ratza. There's a triple for the Demon Deacons. They're first. Turnovers. You don't want to see any of those in these last five minutes if you're Wake or North Carolina. Got to take care of the ball. There's Ratza getting it done. What was that? Corners in every basketball game. And right now, this is just, I mean, look at it. Hardly any passing. Just one and done. I like that Ratza finally made that shot. Trying to defend Ratza. The wraparound pass, Sumiel, top of the key, left side, ripping pass to Conti. Conti, Ratza three with the shot clock, down the four! And Ratza hits the three-pointer. Good defensive possession here from North Carolina, but you just... First quarter, North Carolina struggled from the floor. Second quarter, it was way here in the third. Both teams struggling. There's Scruggs, corner three, corner pocket. Shot clock at 10. Rake is taking Bay uh, Bailey completely out of the play. Here comes Holoshinska, six on the shot clock, and her shot is blocked by Rodson. and they get the stop with 38 seconds to go. Miami into a man on this possession. <laughs> oh boy. Unable to hit back-to-back -back threes. Turn around, and it just dribbles in. <laughs> Rodson makes... Ben Hoover was concerned about Wake Forest rebounding coming in, and they are plus eight in that category. Mora oh, continues on her quest. The key, and that's an open, easy shot. And Mora, 18 points, 9 of 11 from the floor for Wake, and then the defensive play. And an opportunity in the open court, one of the few chances, Harrison right here for Wake. The help there by Mora. Spear also joining in on it, but then Ratza comes over with that pass, and, and Katie Meyer said that she is a very good assist giver. We just haven't gotten to see a full game. And speaking of full game, Ivana Ratza and White heard you. She has been in takeover mode ever since. Before Ratza or before Mora puts the ball up, you've got to get to that ball when they keep it low. But that time, Ratza just too good, two dribbles. Start to get it going, Ivana Ratza, the fiery Serbian, leading the way with six. 50% from the floor so far. It's tough to stop her. I love how patient she is. This thing's about her game. She assesses where she is, spins, pump fakes again. Drew some contact, could have been a foul call there, but points in the game and another turnover from Boston College. Great play by Ratza. Snuck up on Gerard. She didn't even see her coming. And look at Wake continually. But she needs to make defenses remember that she can be if they leave her alone. Exactly. She has to continue to be a threat so that she can create the looks for Ratza. Other way to play than to go 100% 100% of the time. And that's why she's such a great rebounder. She is just tenacious on the glass. Rata hits a three for Wake. Offense in that first quarter when they were so hot. Ivana. Cold stretch continues. It is ice right now and not in a good way for Wake Forest. No points in the quarter. Really for both teams. The first quarter was so back and forth. We, we had a lot of great offense. Louisville in general on the season, they're nearly plus 10 in the rebounding margin. So they normally get it done. This has been quite impressive from Wake. And as Gina Conti with an excellent backdoor cut. Ratza just reading Conti's eyes. Boom, backdoor. Showing the freshman how it's done. The senior, Gina Conti. Great play. Taking it. Ratza working her way in and she'll go to the free throw line. Let's take another look at this. One dribble. Whew, got smacked too. Yeah, you got your two bigs still in there for Louisville. So Jeff Walls is trusting Cochran to play with those three fouls. Good hands Look on the Ratza. defensive end from Ratza. In the basket is Joel Spear. Again, you've got to steal. Oh, and a steal from Ratza. And, Four and, quick points. And that's the kind of plays you've got to have. Enough possessions for a 75 point point tonight for the Demon Deacons. No selling upon Ratza. Well, I mean, that could be wrong. But it's 56 there. You wait for us, protect the basketball, understand time and score, run the clock down about seven, eight seconds and try to get a basket. And Ratza continues, Bam. 23 points. Ends up low, gets great inside position, 
Uses the left hand there. 7-0 run by the Tigers to take the lead. Razzo wants it back for Wake. Conti did not inbound it this time. She gets it and gives it to Razzo for three. What a play. Around the rim. I mean, she is at 6-7. Just something that no one else has. Oh my, but Razzo figured out a way to go around her. Nine points with five assists. See, that's the shot you definitely need to pass out. <laughs> Ratza hits it. Lightning. Short. Ratza outlet to Conti. Conti all the way to the hoop and an easy one for Wake Forest. Going early for Georgia Tech, but not on that shot. No second chance point. Ratza has not scored a bucket yet. Here's Ratza. Ratza spinning. She scored now. Good defense, better offense. Jenkins and Ratza. Right there, you see Leah Love. Really good defense. Cuts off the base. Let's see if Jewel Spear can get going for Wake Forest. Haven't talked about her a lot tonight, have we? Working it to Ratza. Slips it into Sumiel and gets the bounce. Great recognition that time. Don't force anything. And, and, and you just got to play defense, but they've got to score. Gina Conti comes back into the game as Ratza works the lane, takes her time, and pegs it home. Very nice. Very nice. Tension that she requires from the defense. Hank can't really get into help position because she's got to be cognizant of what Moore is doing. Ratza from three. Ivana Ratza has the capability to do that. Averages almost 15 and a half points per game. Ratza the baseline drive. She's the leading scorer for this team. Over 16 points per game for Ratza. All-American a season ago. First team All-ACC. Led the conference in rebounding. Ratza drops it off and an easy basket for Wake. Waits for reinforcements. Stolen by Ratza. Quick hands. And that one will drop in. 44% shooting in the game so far for Wake. Entry to Ratza. Five on the shot clock. Up and in. Ivana Ratza for Wake Forest. And we're tied at 24. And she's into double digits. Just 33% shooting as a team in the game for Wake Forest. And that's below their season average of 42%. But that will help the averages. Ratza on the drive. And she was fouled. Tested inside. Instead, they go inside out. Kick it to Ratza, who's got a... Ratza for three, the Deacons lead. The Forest is eight and nine. This is Ratza around the edge. Basket and foul about a Ratza. Session here, you see the fake on Courtney Weber. She's got her beat, she keeps driving Weber on her back and one. Here the head coach this season for Florida State. Done a wonderful job with the program. Tabitha said, though, she's been around this program for a long time. How about the step around move? Ratza Tabitha. And let's take a look at Ivana Ratza. I mean, the footwork there, and even before that, Wake Forest. Well, and in the first meeting, that's what Wake Forest did well, was their rebounding. They got the opportunities, and there's Ivana Ratza. Shot fake. Keeps working. Gets the basket to go. I like the decision to be patient and get the ball to Ratza. Spear. Wanted the answer for Wake. One and done. Ratza takes it away. 